Ladies and gentlemen, a very special guest to start the second half of the show. We have a comedian you may have heard on Sirius XM Radio, a scene on Nickelodeon, A&E, or HBO. Please welcome to the stage, Tim Wilkins. Thank you. They, they never introduced me. Well, this is very exciting. Um, I, I hope everybody's... How many people, other people here are dieting? Anybody dieting for a show? A round of applause, a few people. How many people have dieted for a show before my round of applause? I, I haven't seen it this... The, there's some really tight physiques backstage. You know they're dieting hard. They are just passed out. They're backstage, they're carb depleted, they're, they're water depleted. It's just tan dead bodies everywhere. Man. It looks like somebody blew up the Jersey Shore. And I haven't seen, the guys are usually the ones that get kind of crampy and, and, and now the girls are back there, everybody's crampy. It's, it's like the front row of a Justin Bieber concert. It's just cramps and anger and tears. <laughs> um, we've been talking to judges about this. I'm actually, Kind of preparing for a show myself right now, and I'm getting tons of support at home from my wife. No. Um, Chicken again? I hate broccoli. Oh, yeah. like, go eat a burrito. I don't care. Just let me enjoy my Tupperware. My trainer's like one of those psycho. He just has all day videos on YouTube on his phone while he trains people of like the 300. And watching this, and now he's got me flipping tires, and I'm like, dude, can't we wait for AAA? I'm 45, are you serious? That's a big tire. I just, at this point, I just want to sleep. I don't know if, are people, do you sleep? Do you, do you, yeah? Are you sleep? I'm, look at you, you're so lucky at this age. I actually had to fly here from this. I was in another city, and I, I don't sleep when I fly. Because I'm always afraid I'm going to miss it. And you end up waking up in the middle of the night, and, Looking at the clock and doing that sleep math. Where you roll over and you go, oh crap. It's 319. If I go back to sleep right this second, I'll get two hours and 41 minutes. But you don't, because you didn't wake up on an even number. As soon as you carry a one, you're up. You're not going back to sleep. I don't sleep. My friends always have remedies like, dude, you should try warm milk. Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> awake and gassy is not cool. You ever fart yourself awake, dude? That's not cool, man. You're like, uh, you don't know if it's inside, it's out. I'm reaching for my gun. I'm like, oh, what is that? My, my wife says, stand down, Marie, unless you're gonna shoot yourself in the butt. You better chill. You better. One of my friends said, try white noise. How anybody can sleep with Eminem playing, I have no idea. <laughs> Most of the younger people got it, a couple of the other people said, I can't eat candy late at night either. I don't know how you can do it. The sugar just jacked me up. No, it's crazy. The, the latest, my wife got me, uh, got me hooked on these guided meditations, these sleep, I don't know if you've ever done one of these, there's like some guy in underpants named Yogi something or other, and he's on a beach somewhere playing uh, like an egg slicer. And then they always start, you are very sleepy. It's time for rest, and your foot is very sleepy. I'm out, which is awesome until I'm at the gym and my iPod goes to shuffle all, and I go from let the bodies hit the floor to the treadmill. You are very sleepy. No! It's nice to be with you people, get away from my kids for a couple days. They're driving me crazy. It's summer vacation, they're all home, they want to do stuff like eat, <laughs> go to the movies. Oh, it's crazy. It's expensive for the movies. How much was a movie when you were a kid, man? Two dollars, three dollars, four dollars? Quarter, Pete, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my oldest came in the day, he said, we want to see a movie. I pull out a 20. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> what are you putting a down payment on it? <laughs> I go, dude, how much do you need? He said, $80. I go, what? I don't want to produce the movie. He goes, no, man, it's Transformers 3D. The tickets are 16 bucks. 
There's five of us. I said, you're not seeing a movie. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna rent a movie. You put on Nana's glasses, I'm gonna throw crap at you. Yeah, I got, a, I got five kids. I got a blended family of five kids, um, two factory and three aftermarket. <laughs> My boys are at that cocky age right now, like, dude, I can't wait till I move out. <laughs> See, I am not blocking the door, bro. <laughs> I'm like Southwest Airlines, you are free to move about the country. <laughs> One of my buddies, you know, I said that, and he goes, yeah, you, you say that now, but our last kid just moved out, and I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> really? Because I got a list. Half of it includes alcohol, none of it includes pants. <laughs> then the last kid goes, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Down to the skivvies and black socks. Honey, get in the golf cart, get my drink, let's go. Oh yeah, Mr. Funny and that, you'll be lonely. Well, if I ever find myself longing for the feeling of a teenager, looking at me like I'm stupid and asking for money, I'll go to Starbucks. I just want a good night's sleep. It's rough, right now my sleeping, I'm just, it's not funny. I, I, I found out I got a uh, restless leg. That's real. Did you know that? I just thought I hated my first wife. I got the irritable bowel, I found a 40, I started snoring, and you know, all the six-pack abs and manscaping, you cannot be sexy with all these things. This, I'm like a candy machine, Willy Wonka's chocolate fan of your It's just wrong. They are, uh, my kids right now, they, they, they do stuff, they're sneaking out, but they don't, like, put effort into it. Like, when we were kids, Tony, we were like, you put sheets together and go out of a third-story window and never get busted. My kids forget there's a trail on the electronic world to everything they do. I go to sleep the other night, 11.30, wake up at 7, there's a Taco Bell bag on my counter. My son comes in, scratch, scratch, crack at noon, scratch himself, was up. Teenage boys don't like Stallone. <laughs> oh, you go out last night? No. Taco Bell bag. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> really? Because I went on your ATM, so I uh, charged for the uh, Taco Bell at 2.30 in the morning. Somebody must have stolen my car. <laughs> really, somebody broke into my house, found your wallet, Got your PIN card, your, your ATM card, figured out your PIN code, spent three dollars, <laughs> broke back into the house, returned the card, left trash on the counter. Dude slipped up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, Taco Bell, I know if you're dieting, you might be hungry, it might sound good, it is, this is a reason to drug test your kids. It, that's a gateway drug. I'm, there's no good reason to eat that crap. They may be using rolling papers for post-it notes. You find Taco Bell wrappers, it's time for a drug test. It's not even food. I've been to Mexico. They have two things, tacos and burritos. Taco Bell, you go there, it's getting huge too. It's like the size of a baby's leg. We took a quesadilla. We used it to make a taco. But we didn't stop there. We covered it in melted cheese, wrapped it in a hooded Mexican blanket, and deep fried it. And the Chimmy Pancho Chalupa Dia was born. <laughs> Folks, my name is Tim Wilkins. Let's kick the show into high gear.